Hey guys, welcome to the Ready, Set, Autism, Family. And today we're going to be talking about Ikea and a cool playground that we went to, right? Where they had a tickle tunnel. Isaac, can you tell them about the tickle tunnel? Tickle tunnel! <laughs> they love the tickle tunnel. And we had a pretty breaking news thing this week, didn't we? We made it to the 200 mark! Woo! Thank you everybody for tuning in and subscribing and watching. We are over 200 now. We were very, very excited about that. Also, we have a lot of people who uh, are in the autism community. Uh, I don't really want to go over names because people get upset if you forget one or something. But I think you guys all know who you are. And we will probably put like a link to uh, your channels down in the description. That way everybody can take a look and see the other autism families. Uh, so we can all kind of band together, advocate, talk, support, all that good stuff. I wanted to mention a channel that I found that I think is a great resource for all of us. Um, a lot of us, of course, are families and parents and stuff. But I found a one channel, channel called, called Life, Life with, with Autism Ben. Ben is an adult. Um, I'm going to assume he's in his 20s, maybe 30s. I don't know. Does he and record the channel by himself? He does. And I think he's a great resource for us all. He's really good at explaining things in detail. And he's also good at explaining things from his childhood. And I just think he's a good resource and he needs our support. Um, he just made it over 100 subscribers, which is just awesome. But uh, he's not getting that many views. So I'll go ahead and post his channel link in the description. And like I said, I'm going to post all the other autism families uh, in the uh, description as well. So anybody watching, please check them out. Uh, just click down below to get to their channel. They've got some awesome uh, resources and, and things they talk about. So um, hi, Aubrey. Yeah, so hi. please uh, check them out in the description. Hi, guys. So Amanda went to the chiropractor today. And one of our favorite places, believe it or not, is Ikea. She loves to eat here. She likes the Swedish meatballs. Delicious. So since she did good at the doctor, we brought her to her favorite restaurant, Ikea. And uh, we're strictly coming here just for the Swedish meatballs. Malia likes it here too. She likes to go couch surfing and, and on the beds. So we just want to mention while we're here at Ikea, that Malia loves to jump in the beds here. She'll <laughs> she'll break away from us. She's laughing right now at me. She'll break away from us to run to jump in a bed and lay down. Funny part is, she's never slept in a bed her whole entire life. She actually sleeps on a couch. And we're thankful for that because before that, she would sleep on the floor right near her door. So uh, the irony here that she loves the beds at Ikea, we might have to maybe try to bring home one once. Hey, what are you doing behind there? You want to say hi? Say hi. hi. So, just wanted to mention that. All right, back to the video. The little dude there, he just likes to jog all around the place. I say, say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Lily really is excited about her cold chicken with carrots and strawberries and cheese. We finally got the conspiracy chocolate cake. And this is the IKEA cafe. It's a pretty big place. Here's all the food options for today and it's all the way down that screen and you can bring home the Swedish meatballs for $7.99 we had a really really good lunch here at Ikea Isaac are you trying to trip me yeah yeah yes he is so we did this playground video because we want to talk about playgrounds and autism uh, throughout the years, Malia didn't have a sense of danger, so when we would bring her to a playground, she'd go up on like the highest slide or whatever, and then almost just walk right off the platform. So for a while, when we went to playgrounds, it was really scary. Uh, now she's much better. The only thing we have to worry about now is her like maybe squeezing, uh, giving a, another kid a big hug, or maybe pushing them off to the side to go down a slide, or maybe even camping out on the slide. Uh, or running off into the woods. Uh, so the playground here was fenced in and we found it on a Facebook special needs group as I said and there are a few more we haven't been to yet but having the fence around it is definitely a huge peace of mind and we can pretty much just let her roam around without worrying about her running off. One time 
we were at a playground with our friends and uh, we were all sitting there talking and she disappeared and there were woods and water nearby and so we all freaked out but she was just hiding underneath the slide. Hi Emily, I can see you back there. So um, we just wanted to kind of talk about that because uh, you know going to a playground with a lot of kids and stuff sometimes you have to do a lot of explaining to other parents based on the situations that you get in. I just want to mention one time at a playground when it comes to explaining to other parents Malia ran across the playground so fast ran up to a mom and a little boy that were talking he was on a scooter she hopped on his scooter and started to run away and the mom's like little girl little girl and um, Malia just looked as though she was ignoring her as she started to proceed towards I'm sorry Malia doesn't like me telling this story and as she started to proceed towards the bike path they're both chasing after her and finally I caught up and, and let him know that she was nonverbal verbal finally I caught up and let him know that she was nonverbal and uh, and then I just kind of grabbed her and, and said sorry and walked away so that's just an example of course of explaining to other parents it's okay she's getting upset because we're sitting and waiting so uh, that's why we wanted to do this video and of course we'll go into more detail on it later. Uh, so right now we're at a playground that's completely fenced in. Uh, we found it on a Facebook special needs group and uh, there's only two gates that they could get out so that's pretty cool and uh, it's not a really high playground so there's not many areas where they could fall from and right now it's really nice it's only about like 85 out here with a slight breeze and we're in the shade right here and uh, the kids are playing on the playground let me go ahead and turn it around here so as you see it's not that high there's Malia up there on the top Isaac's right behind her across the street they got some kind of facility for um, little kids that are like in not such great areas and they join up with them to help them out and keep them out of trouble it's kind of cool hi Malia Hi Aubrey. Hi Isaac. Hi, Hi buddy. Hi. Hi. And here comes Malia. Malia, you don't run down slides. And here comes number three. One, two, three. Malia, go down the slide. No, Malia, put your feet out. Put your feet out, Malia. Feet out. And she won't go down the proper way. Malia, go down the slide. Coming to you from up atop the playground equipment here. And it's still pretty nice out here even though we're in direct sunlight. And Malia likes to hang out at the top of the slide. Dad, right here. I'm a and it's hard to get her to go down the correct you. way. Oh no, there's a zombie behind me. Ah! Ah! There's another zombie in the tunnel. Ah! Get out of here, zombie! Get out of here! Ah! Okay, hold on. I'm gonna push sister lightning fast. Ready? Whoa! Are you ready, buddy? Yeah. You gonna catch him? Oh, oh! <laughs> I didn't touch him. He's just gone. Hi, Malia. Come on. Come on up. Hi, Malia. Come on, Malia. Let's go down the slide the proper way. Okay. Ready? Are you ready? Let's go down the right way. Ready? We're gonna put your... Well, no. <laughs> Malia. She thinks she's funny. Look at this, guys. She thinks she's just so funny. You're funny. Put your legs out. Legs out. Legs out. Legs out. And then you just gotta send her down. There you go, finally. Hi, Isaac. I'm just hanging out here in the tunnel. What color is the tunnel? Green. Yes, good job. 
This is the tickle tunnel. Hi, Daddy. You can't pass through without getting tickled. Where did you go? Are you there? Hi. Hi, Isaac. This is the tickle tunnel. Yeah. You can't get through unless you're tickled. Hey, <laughs> Okay, go. Go, buddy, go. <laughs> what are you doing? What? I don't think the tunnel can handle our weight. It's shaking. Buddy, um, I don't think you're supposed to nap in the tunnel. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you dare pass through the tickle tunnel? I don't. Isaac? Tell him to go. What are you doing just hanging out in here? I this can is go the to the slide. Tunnel. This is the tickle tunnel. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> tickle tunnel. Tickle tunnel. Tickle tunnel. This is the tickle tunnel. Tickle tunnel. Buddy, are you going up the stairs to uh, the tunnel? the tunnel's gonna do. It might be something scary, you know. Everybody was good and complied, even Isaac. He used to have tiny meltdowns leaving the playground.